These were the last two fence posts that I needed to set in concrete. I just did that today. We've got the goats contained in their shelter so they don't mess with the concrete while it's drying. As it turns out, it's a really good coincidence. The electric company's out here to replace a power pole and we didn't want the goats to be messing with them either. The power pole replacement is a part of eventually getting electricity to our goat barn, so that's pretty exciting. If you're like me, you enjoy seeing the equipment and techniques needed to get a big job like this done. I hope you also enjoy my music selection. The contrast between putting a power pole in the ground and my own efforts getting these fence posts in is something else. I wish I could have borrowed that drilling truck. Think the hole's really usable? No, unfortunately no. All right. Pretty shallow.
that's a big one. So this thing doesn't need any kind of cement or anything, it just goes down in the hole? Yeah. So this device is because we have a meter on this pole. Yeah, this okay. is what uh, that is what drops it down from 7,200 volts up there. Right now, this drops it down to 240. All right. Thanks for watching. Remember, your dreams are closer than the moon. Thanks for taking this trip around the moon with us.